This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Don't let your kids watch it! Hey there, honey! Oh, we're still here at the shrine. It was soon full-fledged night, and the clear sound of the Higarashi eased the moderate pain I felt. The older guys began their night-before-drinking party in a tent in the fair bit off, causing quite a ruckus. The shrine grounds, on the other hand, had turned into a lonely road tickled by the cool evening breeze, despite it being so festive just a little while ago. The wind felt good. I leaned on one of the stone guardian dogs at the front of the shrine. I gave my legs a good stretch as I let my mind wander. Then suddenly a paper cup filled with barley tea was thrust before me. Oh, Shion came to us. Her voice sounded exactly the same, but it felt somehow different. <laughs> Surprise! It's me with the free fingers! Well, don't trash talk her. That is true. <laughs> but I want to know why you weren't in Chapter 1. And why the game literally basically said, Oh yeah, they're the same person. Oh, <laughs> surprise! Are you an idiot for thinking they're the same person? Uh-huh. <laughs> They actually sound different, though. Well, she did come all the way here to give it to me. I guess I'll accept it. I took the cup and downed it in one gulp. And then suddenly... Ah! I heard a loud shout and it got stuck in my throat. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the one in the yellow shirt is Mion, since she's always in the yellow shirt. Pfft. To be fair, you don't have a monopoly on my time, Mion. Oh, so between the two of you, Shion has definitely treated us better than you have. Just, just throwing that out there. I'm not, I'm not saying I don't respect your feelings, but I am saying if I was in this situation, I'd be leaning towards Shion. <laughs> yeah, it is definitely the same voice actress, but definitely does a good job of, like, deflecting between the two, where they give her more like a... Uh, you can't see my mouse cursor. They give Mion the more like, ah, voice, and Shion the more, like, quieter, like, feminine voice. It's very nice. <laughs> I, I really like tea. <laughs> Mion's face went bright red, and she tried to hide the paper cups behind her back. I got you for this for you. Okay, Shion. I wanted to give you the benefit of the doubt, but you've got some pretty evil-looking sprites going on right now. Like, come on, you could totally take that sprite and reuse it for, like, she's about to shoot us in the face. You could totally do that. Same with that one. <laughs> Give me a... <laughs> that, I don't know. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> <laughs> tried to do a more manly or so I'm like, nah, I'm Mion. I'm a tomboy. <laughs> Hi, I'm Shion. I'm the girly girl. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> at least that's what the game is trying to tell us. Chug, chug, chug. As Shion cheered at her, Mion downed both of the cups of tea, one after the other. <coughs> oh man, who put paprika in the tea again? <laughs> They, they have a weird dynamic going on here. It seems Shion really likes getting Mion's goat. Oh, I give her a hand. Wait, suddenly the situation has gotten unbelievable. When? I just don't know. Mion doesn't usually get manipulated so easily like that. I've known her for a good while now, but Shion is terrifying. Mion 
シオンには頭上がらないのか私シオン嫌い。Oh, snap! からもっと嫌いになった。Just then I heard the snap of a camera shutter. This better give us a, a, a CG. Oh, hey! <laughs> well, you're in luck, DX. It's Best Boy. And Creepy Girl, his girlfriend. Wow, they're back! <laughs> It's Tomatake, and I don't even remember her name. <laughs> I just remember she was, like, blatantly making kind of creepy faces, and I'm like, heh heh, Oya Shiro sama's gonna kill you. Just kidding! <laughs> and then we died. Actually, if I remember. Okay, never mind. She looks very nice in this art style. <laughs> That's right, in the console art style. She just. She, <laughs> she has this very condescending look, like. <laughs> Alright, here we go. <laughs> let's, let's figure out what her name is again. Hey, uh, can I have a photo of me with the two girls? Oh, that is definitely a new sprite there. I don't think we saw that in the、uh, first chapter. Even here, I, I think it's the way her eyebrows are drawn. She just looks like she's perpetually up to something. Oh, maybe this is me. Oh, you know Shion?、Mm. I think they. No, I think they did mention her name, but I just can't keep track of all that. I can barely keep track of the names of it, people in my friend groups. Let alone fictional characters. Takano! That was her name. Takano. That's me! Dude, I have to know, I have to know what your workout routine is, because my gosh, you are swole AF. I feel like I've seen this photographer guy before. You have, just, well, just, you don't remember it for some reason. That's right, she didn't introduce herself. She was just like, woman. It's true, we just never talked to him this time. I hope, he, I hope he doesn't die this time. Nope! <laughs> Mio. Mio Takano. Oh, is she, is she a doctor? Oh, she's a nurse. Did we learn that in chapter one? I don't remember her being a nurse in chapter one. Then again, she was also in it for like 20 minutes to give exposition and then left. And then disappeared. Um, okay, this girl is creepy. <laughs> I really love giving injections. Why, why, don't, why are people scared of me? <laughs> Tomotake san seemed to be quite entertained at the Sonazaki twins being in the same place, and he took picture after picture. Interesting. <laughs> I thought you guys were the same character! <laughs> Shion, come on! Don't be like that! Also, if you two live in separate places, how would you even know that? Things have never been as lively as when the two of them are together. <laughs> Metal Gear Snake. <laughs> eh, eh, maybe. I, I don't. I still don't really know what to make of her, because maybe she just had a weird trolling thing in Chapter One. I'd thought that they were exactly the same at first, but I've started to get a handle on which one is which. Mion is Mion, and Shion. Well, she seems a far better actor than Mion was. In the first place, somebody could, that could spurn Mion so easily wouldn't have shown such weakness to those lard buckets at Angel Mort. If that was the case, then that cowardly behavior from that day was all. It was all a complete act! I feel like you pick it up eventually. Tomotake 
Takano gave me a kind of odd look, but explaining would have been a pain, so I didn't bother. He really likes the Hooters as well. Nah, he's classier than that. Oh, yeah, I definitely don't remember that. <laughs> I, can't, I can't remember every name in this game. <laughs> Which means I'll probably do a bad job at predicting where the story's gonna go. Thank <laughs> you. How about you get their consent before taking their photos? That's a little weird otherwise. <laughs> How do you know that? Were you, were you watching me? <laughs> Takano-san smiled with an adult elegance that no one in my circle of friends possessed. Well, that's also because you're friends with, um... I was gonna say some tomboys, but that's actually only true for Mion and, uh, Satoko. But Rika's also, like, 12, and Rena is... Rena. The wind caught her hair. She gives off an intelligent beauty. Well, she is a nurse. You gotta be smart for that. Hey! It's of her best boy, Uichi. It seemed like our merry crowd was standing out. This time, an overweight older man addressed us. Don't you remember? Oh, wait, no, we didn't meet him, I don't think. And once again, it was someone I thought I knew. Never mind, we talked to him for two seconds. If I recall correctly, he's a policeman, isn't he? That's right. Yeah, I, I forgot about that. Thanks for the reminder. <laughs> That's true. He's like... Well, assuming that this is like the same as chapter one in terms of the lore, that means he's like, someone's gonna die and disappear on this festival. <laughs> we gotta make sure that don't happen. I mean, it makes sense why you would prefer Tomotake to Uisi. Uisi's kind of old, a little pudgy, and, well, Tomotake, I mean, come on, look at how cut this guy is. <laughs> it looks beautiful. Well, that's probably not hard. Tokyo is kind of expensive to live in. <laughs> oh, and this time he's actually full on like, yeah, I want to move here. But in the first chapter, he's like, nah, I love Tokyo, man. <laughs> I'll see you next year when people go missing. Uh-oh, Shion just... <laughs> Shion, are you... are you... Do you have a reason to not be very happy when the police are around? Are you are you breaking bad by any chance? Because <laughs> she was like that the first time he showed up as well. She was like, oh, hi. <laughs> she's had she's had a run-in with the cops before, hasn't she? Thank goodness Phoenix Wright was there to clear her. <laughs> Alright, Shion. <laughs> Right, it's a different timeline, but I, that's why I said the lore behind it. Because, like, we still had the dam construction, like, in Chapter 1 as well. So it seems like all of that kind of was the same, but then we're doing different stuff here, and people are acting different. And also, Shion exists, and I'm pretty sure she did not exist in Chapter 1. Or she did very secretively. <laughs> Detective Uisi left us with a loud, low laugh and headed off back to talk some police officers standing a ways away. I gave Mayon a glance and saw her making an annoyed face, as if she were glaring bullets at someone she hated. Man, are both of the twins, like, breaking bad? Is that why they hate the police? Because that was the same in Chapter 1. Mion was like, you were talking with Uishi? What? You know I hate him. <laughs> it's like, I didn't know you hated him, actually. <laughs> Takano seemed to be chill with the police. <laughs> She's a winner. 
警察のお世話にならない綿流しになるといいわね。Maybe not. Are you Breaking Bad as well? Are you free in on this? ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ Hey, Kate-chan, let's go away from this! <laughs> But I wanted to hear about the info dump. <laughs> What a convenient way to make sure we don't have to get the same information twice. A moment later, Shion said something to Takano and Tomatake that stunned my ears and gave me a start. All right, Shion. I don't trust you. <laughs> I pulled back from Mion's grip and stopped abruptly. Shion, that seemed very vaguely threatening. <laughs> It felt like the air around us dried out all of a sudden. I guess places are a little less fun when the police are around. More dangerous. I feel like it would be less dangerous, but. I don't know. They're like, don't even let him hear this time. <laughs> Shion's quiet and cold and quiet tone and Mion's harsh voice were quite the contrast. Oh, don't worry about it. <laughs> I don't understand this. Someone explain it to me. However, Mion didn't seem to be at all willing to grant my request. Each chapter might have the same info dump, so it's a pretty good thing that you're only going for each chapter one year at a time. Okay, maybe. <laughs> she squeezed my hand in hers a bit, but then she realized I would hold the, my ground on this topic, so she let go. <laughs> Mio's like, I'm gonna need some alcohol. <laughs> Mio left, trotting towards a particularly noisy tent on the other side of the shrine grounds. Before she got there, she stopped and turned back around. I showed no signs of going after her, though, so she ran off. Never mind, we're getting the info dump again. <laughs> Straps your bones right to the sea. Come on in and don't be shy. <laughs> He's like, I saw what happened in chapter one. I don't want it to happen again. <laughs> hey now, you've already gotten my full attention here. I am not going to leave without asking at this point. Okay, Shion. Shion's voice was bristling with thorns, as if she somehow blamed Mion. <laughs> Takano-san, realizing how prepared I was, looked across the group. After confirming that there were no objections, she opened her mouth. Yes and no. This, this is a really important plot point, so you gotta hear it every chapter. I felt their cynical stares and winced. It was like they were telling me that it, it, I, it was stranger not to believe in curses. <laughs> This might change your mind. Everyone dies, said Takano-san, giving us a little smile. They're trying to scare me. At least, that's what it feels like. Why are there sprites flickering before they disappear? Yeah. Oh yeah, the other day at Hooters, Shion, or Mion rather, told me all about it. <laughs> Satan wanted to flood Hinamizawa to kill everybody. That didn't happen, and he's like, I'm still gonna kill people, and then that's how it happens. I've heard that too. 
The entire village united, using all the power at their disposal. Mass media, political influence, assassination, I mean, other things, and they fought for the country. The way Mion described it made it sound like a boast. It's amazing what the power of numbers can do. この辺は、お姉に聞かされてませんかこの辺りの武勇伝は、お姉も好きですからね。ああ、話してたよ。その雛水沢の人たちが結束して旗揚げした反対同盟の事務所があったのがね、この神社なんだよ。ほら、あの
鶴橋でめった打ちにされて両手両足首をもいで捨てられたんだそうです That's how you do it. You cut the body up into pieces, you put it in a trash bag with a bunch of rocks, and you drop it in the sea. No one will ever find it. I mean, I don't know that. <laughs> They were all the rage back then. Such a gruesome incident. But it was just that an incident. A person caused the incident, after all. Should they really put it down to the curse? <laughs> ダム推進派のグループを結成していた男がね旅行先で崖から落ちて死んじゃったのこれは事故だそうよコンビニエント何しろひなみざ中から敵視されていたからね警察もかなり念入りに他殺の線を洗ったんだけど結局事故と断定したみたいだよ Now it's an accident This is the most curse like one, but it's still far fetched. Sarah, you to see. Condone, Conojinja no Kanushanga, Gain, who may no Yamai de Taure de Kusis. Because I know we went over this last time. I forget why they thought the priest would have been a target of the curse, because wouldn't he have been like the head honcho defending Oyashiro Sama? My no Kanushanga, Koicha Stredes Kedo, Joto Hiorimina Hitoda Tandesione. Oh. Yeah, non so that, that's why they're like, you need to take decisive action. He's like, come on, man. I just want to live. Leadership <laughs> It did seem like every year damn related people the village had resentment towards were dying. It was pretty creepy. Shikamone. Omoshiroikotoni. Korela no jiken ya jikoa. Maitoshi kanarazu. Oh, guys, I, I don't think I can make it to the Watanagashi Festival. I actually promised I was going to go to the local cider mill with my grandpa. <laughs> I love the music cut out after I made that really stupid excuse. Takano was like, I love curses! This is the best! Uh-oh. Four years in a row. Each one of the incidents and accidents were relatively commonplace. But every single one of them happening on the night of the festival worshipping Oyashira sama, that's not normal. Yeah, there's something off with Takano. There's also something off with Shion. <laughs> yeah, I can see where she's coming from. Even me, even if I didn't think it was a curse at all, thinking about all the incidents like this makes me feel like maybe it's real? まあ、そうですね。親白様のたたりの話がなかったら <laughs> Guys, if you come to the festival, you super promise won't be the one who dies in the incident. Oh my gosh, we have to go to Watanagashi! <laughs> well, it's true, infidels will, will be punished, but, uh, wait, uh... Well, anyways, about the festival, Shio nodded as if she were mocking herself. <laughs> <laughs> Coincidence! Takano would be <laughs> the true crimes girl on YouTube that do make. I could, I could see that. I mean, you can't just laugh off people related to the dam construction project all dying like that. I could also see Takano being one of those TikTok nurses. Even if I feel like this now, then the more superstitious members of the village must feel stronger than that. Well, that's... 
I bet there's a person who's like, I'm going to make you look like a curse. This this is Ace Attorney all over. Get Phoenix right on the case. He'll figure it out in like two days. Shion grinned, realizing I'd rejected the curse. Takano <laughs> said, Hassan said, smiling playfully, as if posing a riddle. Neither a curse nor a coincidence. Well, it's definitely not a coincidence. But every year someone dies. What should we make of that then? Mas there's a mastermind. Tomotake san, catching on to the fact that I had no idea what to make of it, opened his mouth and came to my aid. Takano san, ne? Yeah. Eh? Simple process of elimination would have gotten me there. I was a little taken aback at not having realized the answer immediately. Uh oh, are we about to be super paranoid again? Yeah, that, that's what makes sense. <laughs> Takano san pressed on. I smiled bitterly in spite of myself. Here I was just a few minutes ago, thinking the very concept of a curse was absolutely absurd. When she suggested it was someone's doing, I ended up thinking, there's no, there wasn't any way it could be a person. But Takano-san was right. It was either a curse, or it was a person's doing. If unrealistic things like curses didn't exist, then the obvious next step would be to start thinking it was people behind it. But if that was the case, I glanced at Shion. <laughs> I'm not from Hinomizawa, so I'm innocent. Date me. I thought I now knew the reason Mion didn't want to talk about this. If Oyashiro-sama's curse really existed, then that's fine. It would be divine judgment for the damn project business. However, if Oyashiro-sama's curse didn't exist, which it obviously didn't, then the culprit would most likely be someone from Hinomizawa. The villagers had worked desperately to oppose the dam construction project. I knew that they had used all sorts of methods to fight against it. If one of those methods was... maybe... I like, I like the cicadas sounds in the background, adds to the atmosphere. Shion dryly put words to my exact thoughts. Of course, I didn't expect it. She was from Hinomizawa, so I didn't think she'd come out and say it herself. Oh, well, I, I guess she's from there. She just lives in Okinomiya. Oh, Admitting to the existence of a darker side of the dam conflict would be rude to Mion, who spoke of it so highly. So I couldn't just accept Shion's seemingly logical viewpoint. <laughs> I knew you were breaking bad! <laughs> now this is new. <laughs> we didn't hear about this in Chapter 1. Shion rebukes me to keep my voice down. That's just a coincidence. Or more part of the plot. One more person disappears. Did that mean that someone besides the one who died from the curse was a sacrifice? Okay, never mind. We did hear about we did hear about this. You know what? Just in case we want to use that as a thumbnail, we'll do that. As she spoke, she pretended to do a trick with her hands like she was making a magician's hat disappear. One dies a mysterious death, and one disappears, never to be seen again. A strange vanishing act. But then why? How does that equate to someone from Hinamizawa being the culprit? This is absolutely some Satanism stuff. That is disgusting. Takano-san, as though, though explaining something pretty terrible, has a look of glee on her face as she did so. This lady is super weird and creepy. 
本当にゆっくりとじわじわと沈めたそうよ。Why are you saying that with a happy smile? Like, I love talking about old torture methods. <laughs> Why are you laughing about this? You, you are absolutely creepy. Takano san was the only one laughing at this. Was she telling a joke or something? No, she's not. She's just not right. <laughs> That girl ain't right, I'll tell you. Shion didn't move to deny it. But I felt the difference in temperature between her cool expression and Takano san's. ひなみざわ出身じゃないけどね。彼女は郷土史とか民間伝承とかが好きでね。She gets, she's getting a little too into this, I gotta say. 全部、独学で調べたんだよ。t a k a n o s the girl who goes to the Renaissance Festival, like, in full regalia and talks in old A English. そんなにかっこいいものじゃないのよ。単なる知的好奇心。<笑> okay, I believe you. 子供と同じよ。See, that might just be played off as harmless fun if it weren't for the very eerie music in the background. Tomotage san laughed, a little bit embarrassed. Just wait a minute. What is it? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah. Shion answers in one word before anyone else can speak. Someone dies, then someone disappears. Wasn't cotton drifting? Uh huh. Kakonojikendewa うまく逃げおわせてるだけなんじゃないんですか別に生贄にされたというのとは違うのではまあ僕もそうだとは思うんだけどねで次の年のダム推進派のリーダー格の男なんだけどえっと確か旅行先で崖から落ちて亡くなったんですよね落ちたのは奥さんも一緒らしいの警察は懸命に捜索したんだけどどうしても奥さんの遺体だけ見つけられないんですって。崖下の川は増水してたそうだからね。どこか川下の湖の湖底で、土砂にでも埋まってしまったのかもしれないけどね。Yeah, all this we've heard before. The perpetrator of a dismemberment like that wouldn't want to be caught, so they'd be desperate to run away and hide too. I thought I'd heard about cases where the corpse wouldn't surface after the person drowned in a swelled river like that. She vanished because of an unfortunate accident, but I still didn't see the connection to sacrifices. If you took each of the past incidents in turn, none of the disappearances evoked that terrifying of an image. <laughs> Mion's like, Keiichi, are you coming to, coming to the tent or not? Come on now! <laughs> You're still talking about this? You said you'd hurry. But the butts? The curse. It seemed to turn up in this one, though. Ma, Shinso wa yami no naka nanda kedo ne. Sono oku san ga jusui jisatsu shita numa wa, sakki Takano san mo hanashita, le no dekkai sokonashi numa ってことになっててね This is really gonna put a damper on the festival for us. Kesatsu mo numa wo shirabe ta sou da kedo, ihin ga ikutsu ka mitsukatta da kede, itai wa hakken deki na katta. Someone dies every year, and in the same way, someone goes missing every year. Yes, we've established this! Is she trying to tell me that everyone who vanished was kidnapped by some extremely efficient means and dumped into the bottomless swamp, still alive and drowned to death? But a curse? That's unbelievable in its own right. So, no, you could see Niva. Nandake, Damu Suishin Hano Tokono Ototo Fufu no Oksandake? So, at that time, someone else vanished? 
北条サトシ君っていう私と同じ女の子ですサトシ殺された主婦の義理の甥いにあたりますシュンカレンのファスライトウィストロントーンのボイスシュンのボイスはディスペルプリウェルウィスタッツのバイバイウィスゲリンまあ、well, サトシはパートのオリジナルゲーミングクラブそう、ヒウォルフ、ヒニュー、レナー、ミオン、そう、I was gonna say by extension he would know Shion, but apparently you could be in the gaming club and never know Shion's existence, so. No, they probably, they probably met for that. カナラズヒトリナシンデ、カナラズヒトリナコツゼントキエル。Thank you for telling me that for like the twentieth time! Leaving the suddenness aside, the fact that each incident involved one person disappearing. God, how many times are you going to say this? I know I've heard this 20 times, but I just gotta confirm it again. <laughs> that someone is me. Maybe someone lives in like Philadelphia and it's just like, I have a great idea. <laughs> this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to this remote Japanese village and <laughs> do random stuff. <laughs> it could be. I was like, I'm gonna go to this remote Japanese village and do random stuff. It didn't have anything to do with our discussion, but I got the feeling that maybe Shio didn't like Hirizawa very much. Who wants to live in a town with a murderer? Slash kidnapper, slash、uh, evidence hider. Mion enjoyed talking about Hinamizawa and its epic tales. So she had avoided talking about Oyashiro sama's curse, which didn't paint Hinamizawa in a good light, no matter how you looked at it. She was trying not to give me a bad impression of the village, so she didn't say anything. Shio, on the other hand, was somehow different. She wasn't rejecting the concept of a curse to purge Hinamizawa out of this bad impression, but rather, she strongly believed that a member of the village was the criminal behind this. Her convictions seemed a bit removed from the tight sense of community held by the people of Hinamizawa. Once upon a time, they looked so alike you could mistake one for the other. But talking to her now, I was getting a powerful feeling that Shion had a completely different personality than Mion. Yeah. Yeah. Man, we're saying very little in a lot of words. Neither Shion nor Kanosan answered that. The deafening silence told me all that needed to be said. <laughs> It's Rika! Nipa! Neither Shion nor Takano-san had a reply to that question either. Though it may have been rude to ask, I had hoped they wouldn't have one. The reason I was asked was to argue that their explanation that the culprit was from Hinamizawa was nothing more than one possibility. Shion caught on to my plan. She gave a pained smile at my petty spite and opened her mouth to speak. As would anybody. Then what about Takano san? She too smiled dryly as Shion had and opened her mouth. <laughs> I just really like it when people die. <laughs> I say they keep it up. Takano-san is a good person. I know who it is, but I pinky promised them I wouldn't tell. <laughs> Tamatake san gives a bitter laugh at her own surprising opinion on the matter. まだ根深く残ってることの証拠だって思って面白がってるくらい。Though she described herself as nothing more than a curious onlooker, her smile was as sharp as the tip of a blade. Women like her felt very strange and a little scary to me. Yeah, she's creepy. Maybe it's just that I was in fearful awe of the person whose emotions I couldn't comprehend. She's also creepy, but for a different reason. 明日はいよいよ渡流しのお祭りですけど。
Settles it. Shion, you and I can have a date at Red Robin. That's right. It had completely slipped my mind. The strain of murder incidents that people attributed to Oyoshirasama's curse. It wasn't over. <laughs> you, you're so right, DX. That's exactly the vibe I'm getting from her. She seems the kind... Maybe this will sound rude. Takano seems like the kind of girl who's like... I mean, you know, Ted Bundy, he was kind of hot, though. <laughs> Look at that smile! And with the words. Come, come on! You're making this too... Uh, you're... They're making this too obvious that she's behind some of this stuff. Like, come on, look at that. <laughs> I just wonder who will die tomorrow. <laughs> Talking to Sad said, running a comb through her hair with elegant movement. Did she's even combing her hair while doing it? That's like practically a murder confession. <laughs> with a thin smile and a voice that nearly made me shudder. She almost looked like she was enjoying the thought of the incidents that could happen tomorrow. Then out of the blue, we heard a, round of, a loud round of applause. They seemed to be ending the drinking party. Or, oh, I thought they were like, wow, you told the story so well. Right. I was making Mion wait this whole time, wasn't I? Yeah, you totally were. I should go back to her soon. I don't know if she's teasing. I think she's just crazy. You're dating her, right, Tomotake? You, you should probably find someone else. <laughs> you, you absolutely could have pretty much any girl you want with that cut. <laughs> I mean, she, she's not bad looking, but she's a little creepy. Uh, she said that sticking out her tongue bashfully. Nobody does that in real life. The strangeness in her expression was nowhere to be found. Wow, she hates kids. <laughs> Now you're making excuses for her, bro. Unlike Takano-san, Tomotake-san seemed like a totally normal person with common sense. Yeah, that's why he's best boy. <laughs> yes. Yes. Don't stick it in the crazy. Absolutely. Very sound advice. They were apologizing after realizing what kind of impression they'd given me. Maybe... To be fair, they might just be having a chaste relationship with each other for now. How could it not? You just spent 40 minutes telling me how someone in this village is probably committing mass murder. Takano-san and Tomotage-san were arguing and messing around now. The strained air around us had already dissipated. Kei-chan-mo... Excuse me, I still need to go and eat some zerts. お姉は嫉妬深いですからね。私は顔を合わせると喧嘩になりそうだから、このまま帰ることにします。オッケー。そうなのか。じゃあ、俺はミオンのとこに戻って待たせたことを謝るかな。迷惑をかけたね、ケ
もちろん薄気味悪いのがたくさんね<笑> Taka knows the type to binge watch all of the Chucky movies every Halloween 私特選のたくさん披露するわよ Okay, creepy lady, will you just leave? <laughs> I was kind of happy but kind of worried I can't help but smile dryly and scratch at my head This is not the kind of woman that I would want giving me、uh, shots. <laughs> They say goodbye again and run off. I heard Tomotake call out from behind him in a clear voice that we would see each other again at the festival tomorrow. When I went to the tent, Mion was waiting for me and she was nowhere to be found. I made her wait so long. Maybe she got mad and went home. After asking some adults passing by, I heard that she went home talking to some relatives. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. But my regret for having made Mion wait. It wasn't enough to triumph over the impression Takano san and Shion's uncanny story left on me. Can we stop by and meet her grandma? I still want to meet her grandma. <laughs> Serial murder incidents had happened four years in a row. Yes, I know that! <laughs> Would tomorrow's events make this the fifth? And the possibility that someone from Hinamizawa was carrying all of this out under the guise of the curse. The queer tradition of ritual sacrifice, entirely unbecoming of the Showa period we lived in. I regretted it a little, though it was too late. If none of those creepy stories had anything to do with me, then I should have let Mion pull me away from that crowd. I felt a little ashamed about letting my cheap curiosity get the better of me. No, it's transitioning to the end of the day, so we won't get to meet Grandma. Maybe next time. Maybe next time.